Yes, hi Clayton. This is Ernie from Vancouver, and uh, I'm 65 years old. Um, have a few hundred thousand dollars in assets that I could use uh, to get into some rental properties. I've been thinking about this for a long time. I have some other assets. Um, so, although cash flow is not a primary concern for me, it would be nice to have some additional cash flow. And I'm wondering if, for someone my age, your program um, would really still be appropriate, um, needing a little bit of cash flow each month and understanding that this would be appreciation over 10 or 20 or 30 years for my kids, probably more than anything um, that I would have the true benefit of. But is this program really set up where I had a few rentals through Morris Invest that I could expect some decent cash flow? Or is this strictly uh, an appreciation ploy for my heirs? Thank you. Appreciate all you do. Hey, thanks, Ernie. Great question and a really thoughtful question, too. You kind of answered a part of it that I was going to right out of the gate. But I would say, yes, number one, yes, that's we work with people at Morris Invest. We're a full service rental real estate company. And so uh, young, middle aged, older, it doesn't matter um, because it really depends on everyone's own situation. So when you book a call with us, we'll kind of go through that process and lay out that structure with the kids, that's the most important piece of this, right? Because to me, real estate investing is all about wealth preservation. Like cash flow is is great, right? Don't get me wrong. The cash flow piece of real estate investing is fantastic. To me, in this inflationary environment, even without the inflationary environment, that's why real estate is so powerful, right? As a wealth preservation tool, there's nothing like it. I mean, from a tax and wealth preservation tool, there's nothing in the United States tax code that comes close to real estate. Hands down, nothing, nothing, nothing. Maybe raw land, you could argue, could come somewhat, but still not even close to owning a physical real estate on land in the United States. That's the bottom line. And so if you, it, you know, the cash flow would be great because you're going to buy new construction properties. If you work with us, there'll be new construction. There'll be cash flowing virtually right from the closing. So you'd be closing on the property with, you know, a mortgage or depending on what structure you, you do with cash. We talk with it. We talk about that with our team and then cash flow almost immediately. And, you know, just how you would structure that so that that would be handed down to your children Again, tax-free. Again, that's the beauty of structuring real estate investing because, you know, be able to hand down this wealth preservation tool to your family um, as a hedge against inflation, as a cash flow tool that you're setting your family up. You know, I like think about these retirement accounts, right? You're, you're At the end of your life, you're sitting there with this pile of cash and the U.S. dollar, of course, and the value of that dollar is going down. Um, and, of course, Congress is looking at all kinds of ways into tapping into that pile of cash at the end of a person's life, right? And you can know that they're going for it. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Just read Andrew Andrew Henderson's great book, Nomad Capitalist, to understand like what the United States government does to try to get their hands on cash. And so real estate is a great way, a great mechanism, a great tool uh, to not only provide that cash flow for you, but also to, to be able to manage and preserve that wealth long-term. Tom Wheelwright, our good friend, from the WealthAbility podcast, the founder of WealthAbility, our good tax uh, tax accountant, the most brilliant tax accountant I know, talks about real estate in that way. He almost doesn't talk about it as a cash flow vehicle, even though it is. He really looks at it as more of a wealth preservation mechanism than anything else. And he's really, over the past few years, got my mind thinking in that way. That when people ask me about real estate, the cash flow is great, but I really look at it as a way to protect the hard work that I've put in to creating that wealth because it's going into these assets um, that is a hedge against inflation, has the tax benefits, but it has the continued cash flow. So all of those things are uh, why I would say absolutely yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And heck, I, you know, the proof is in the pudding because that's what I'm doing, right? That's what I'm doing for my family. And the investments that I have is to be able to structure and set up those exact issues, things for my children as wealth preservation. So I walk the walk around here. So thank you for that question, Ernie. Book a call with us. You can go to morrisinvest.com if you're ready to take that real estate investing journey. We're happy to jump on the phone with you for 30 minutes for free and map out your financial freedom roadmap. Um, and then to 
you know, points you in the right direction. So just go to our website, morrisinvest.com, and you can click on the little voicemail button down there on the right-hand side of your screen too, so you can leave us a 30-second voicemail here on the show, and we will attempt to answer it next time. Now go out there, everyone. Take action. Become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time.